There we go. Are we live? We're live. Camera guy, are we live? We're back on the air. Torn says I'm too loud. Do you think I'm too loud, folks? Chef Jay Barnard here, and welcome to Lake to Plate. Uh, it's a, it's my favorite day of the week. Is it your favorite day of the week? I like the free food. I like the free food, too, actually. Is it even free? No, nobody gives us food for free. No, that's not true. Fifth Avenue Farms gives us free pea shoots and free microgreens, which are very sexy, and they're right there. Very sexy. Very awesome company. We love Fifth Avenue Farms and Chris and his wife. Uh, anyway, <laughs> check that out. You can't see me, eh? The black gloves. It's quite the gloves. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this week has been exciting, hasn't it? Lots has happened. Big, busy week for freshwater cuisine. We had uh, Bob Nolt, MP out with Ryan. Exciting? Very exciting. Very exciting. He came out. He took a tour of the freshwater cuisine fish plant. I mean, the tour took at least six hours, right? Because oh, we've got so much. Huge. Huge. It's huge out here, isn't it? you got a great picture with Levi. Great picture with Levi. Uh, I love the fact that he was here when fish came in. Hey, that was great. It really uh, was. You know, Levi and Samantha got a picture with him. He 100% supports us. He loves the fact that we're creating jobs because we are, right? We're, we're always creating, hiring. We're always hired. Here's our uh, little uh, stab at, hey, folks, we are looking for people. Please come out to the Freshwater Cuisine headquarters without a resume or a license. We'll hire you. <laughs> Preferably a license. Preferably a license because the bus is getting a little thick right now, isn't it? <laughs> uh, so, yes, great, uh, great photos, great shots. Great to talk with him. He wants to work with us. So big shout out to Bob Nault and Ryan who came out. Thanks for coming out and taking the time to come and check out what amazing things we're doing with freshwater cuisine. How we're working with the Aboriginal people and the fisheries, which is very exciting because it really hasn't been done in the area, has it? It really hasn't. It really hasn't. Uh, and I'm excited about every fisher woman or man that we have that works for us because I love every single one of them. Uh, what else happened? Well, you got nominated for another award. I got nominated for another award. I know we got nominated. This isn't about I. There is no I in team. It's we, right? We do it together. No. So, um, I got no... I. <laughs> <laughs> we got nominated for the Business and Professional Achievement Award. Exactly. With Nova, which is exciting. Um, this is our fifth nomination? Fifth indeed. Fifth indeed. It's been a great year for Freshwater Cuisine. We won one. Uh, this one we should take back home, eh? Why not? Why not? Have we been going through a lot of fish? Oh, have you even <laughs> slept? <laughs> Fall season's the best time of the year because we go through so much fish. Uh, I don't even know. 19 skids or, and then another 8. What do we What do we send out this week? 30 skids? A lot skids? of skids. Can you st I, I'm amazed you can still lift your arms that high. Yeah. I can. They hurt. And today, I flew up to Winnipeg this morning at 8 a.m. to pick up 4,500 pounds of heads and then whipped her back. I want to give a shout out to Lobick, though, because Lobick deserves a shout out, don't they? Lobick is uh, an amazing place to go to if you're starting a business or you have great ideas. Uh, they do support local businesses and they do help you out. Lobick has come through on two occasions now for us. Uh, Allison down at Lobick. You rock. She's been fantastic to work with. Fantastic to work with. She sees the vision. She sees what we're doing. And you know what the cool thing is, Torn? What's that? Numbers don't lie. <laughs> Do numbers lie? Nah, they numbers don't. don't lie. So, numbers show, numbers don't lie. Fish business is a good business. Fish business is a good business. And also all the jobs that we're creating around the region for the local economy, which is exciting. There could be even more if you came out here. Yes. We are looking for staff for the second place. Staff, second plug. Actually, no, I'm excited. Mr. James Eckerd is coming back next week. James Eckerd used to work with us here, and he left because of a certain <coughs> someone. We won't say who. Is it's he a lunch, lunch lady? <laughs> He's a lunch lady. Anyways, James Eckerd, I'm excited to have you back. I'm excited to have your friend come down. James, I missed you. You're like a son to me. Peter Eckerd, take care of him, eh? And send the cheesecloth and the little... Um, Bamboo skewers there, Peter Acker. You know what I'm talking about. What else is happening? Oh, Top Chef Thunder Bay, Northwestern Ontario. It's getting closer. Our dish, this this is really exciting. Our dish is almost completely local, isn't it? Right down to the salt. Right down to the salt. Do we have local salt? We don't have local salt. Folks, we are looking for local salt. Clover Belt. Actually, let's give a shout out to the Clover Belt because next week 
we're actually getting products from the Clover Belt, Andrea and Jen. I pulled some products off there and we're going to be ordering all year. They actually have, they're open all year round. So it's not just vegetables and fruit. You can get jewelry on there and you can get soaps and you can get jams and you can get salsas and you can get crumbs. If you're looking for a crazy <laughs> agent crumbs, something burning over there? No. Shouldn't be. Shouldn't be. It's not burning. Uh, if you're looking for our crumbs, you can check out Clover Belt. But the whole fact of the matter is next week we will be having some products from the Clover Belt. Which is exciting. We're staying local, right? Everything's local. Everything's local. And if there's anybody out there that has any root vegetables, Torn, what's a root vegetable? I, I learned yesterday it's something in my head. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's exactly what it is. If anybody has any root vegetables out there, any kind of vegetables that they want to dump to get rid of, we will give you a shout out here on Lake to Plate. We want to use your vegetables, pair it up with our amazing fish. I'd like a pumpkin. A pumpkin? I'd like a pumpkin. I'd, you know what? It'd be cool if we could carve freshwater cuisine in the pumpkin, eh? Well, you're pretty good with the knife. You know what? I bet you Jody LeBlanc could do that. I bet you she could. Yeah, she's getting a tattoo today? A tattoo, yes. A tattoo. A tattoo. <laughs> that's beautiful. Uh, of her son or something, eh? Is some, that, his that name is great. or something like yeah, that? Yeah, that's great. I'm glad she's doing that. So, um, and of course, we love all our staff. So why wouldn't she want to work for us, right? Yeah. And on that's, that note... On that note... This week we're going back to Yellow Perch for the fourth time. This is a this well, it's not the last episode, but we're doing four times with Yellow Perch. We did four amazing dishes. This week I just got back from Winnipeg, and did I just come up with this like on the fly? Do you even know what we're making yet? I don't even have a single clue what we're making. All I know is that we got some local vegetables from the great and talented Carmela Burganini, Burganini uh, which she gave us some beautiful uh, Swiss chard. She gave us some beautiful uh, beets, and we're going to use the beet ends and the uh, Swiss char because we don't have anything else. We still have that nice Italian garlic. And we have this nice Italian... Carmela, where did this come from, Carmela? Beautiful. Thank you for bringing this for us. We have sexy local crab apples. Have you tried one of these yet? I'm allergic to apples. You're allergic to apples. Yeah. Fruit with skin, I'm allergic to. That sucks for you, guy. I need a cook. Look at the size of this apple. This is a, a local crab apple out of Kuwaitin. Look at the size of that. Okay. That's a nice snack. It's my breakfast. Local crab apples. And then we're going to do a Cajun almond crusted perch. Cool. Sounds expensive. Roasted. Uh, are almonds expensive? I learned that today. You know, I want to give a shout out to my mom too. You know why? Because my mom is a hard worker, and when Bald Nolt was here, she was working really hard, wasn't she? She was. She does all our packing, she does all our wing packing, she does all our fish packing. Not that I don't love all our other staff, because I do, but I love my mom. You got a special place in your heart for your mom? I do have a special place in my heart for my mom. Okay, one more shout out. Lure, right? I can't forget my good friend Ned Bell. Ned Bell, if you guys haven't got his cook cookbook yet, you can get it at Chapters, you can get it at... Amazon. Hold on a second. Who's from Toronto calling me? I, I don't know. Hello, Jay here. Hi, Kings of the Capital. I'm just a little busy right now. Could you give me a call back in about 25 minutes? Thank you very much. Have a great day. Just somebody wanting to give us money. I don't know. Anywho, so let's get started. We're going to do some roasted uh, beets here. Torn. Like... Where did they come from? Carmela got them. Okay, you know what? You know what we do here? We keep the skins on, don't we, Torn? Do we cook them all done? Well, the thing about beets, right? You can do so many different things with beets. Folks, this is why I'm wearing gloves. I don't like to get my hands purple. So I just cut these in half, Torn. Just in the cubes. I always keep skin on everything. I don't take skin off. A, it's a lot of work. B, I don't like doing it. This is a nice little. You like a little extra skin, is what you're saying. <laughs> Like a little extra skin, and it's healthy for you, right? Very. Boom, nice like that. Good then we're gonna shirt. put it in one of these. Ooh, fancy. Fancy, fancy, right? Then all I like to do here, Torn's, uh, that's we'll use that later. Put a little bit of oil on it, salt and pepper. And you know what? My good friend Jason from 
Blue Haze Barbecue, the Red Eye Rub. Folks, you can get this in Manitoba. It is an amazing rub. You just, it just doesn't go on food. You can put it on the rims of your Caesar if you drink Caesars. You know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a sober guy. so You can I, have a virgin Caesar. I do drink virgin Caesars. Mm -hmm. So we're going to use some of his spice on here. It's not very fun, though. No, I, hey, Torn, do you just eat this stuff straight up or what? I, I do, yeah. Well, you I got the habit from you. Really? Yeah. Okay. That's as easy as it gets for uh, roasted veg, eh? In your oven, 350, 45 minutes. Cool? Next up, Torn, we're going to do the... Set your uh, pan on medium heat. We're going to do the crap... <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing this week, you know that? You're kind of all over the place. Yeah, the so... The beets look good, though. The beets look good. Okay, so let's do a crab, apple, and fennel. Mm. Relish. something that just goes together. For on top of the I fish. That a chutney. That could be a chutney, too. Or a relish. However you want to do it. It's different between a chutney and a relish. Uh, I think they're all the same. Oh, somebody's at the door, no? Uh, yeah, I can hear banging at somebody's the door. Somebody's at the door. We'll be about 20 minutes! Somebody at the door? Yeah, because we get so many people here at the test kitchen just banging know, down just the door. Just banging down the door. I wonder what they might want. Might it be money? <laughs> okay, take some butter. In it goes. Oh, I just like to cut these out. I don't, like, you know me, eh, Torn? I you like it chunky? I like it chunky. I like, yeah. You know why? Everything just has more flavor, right? Oh, Grace Ward said hi. Oh, nice. Hey Grace, how you doing? We need some more spices. Here's our uh, here's our fennel horn. Cut that up. Grace said she needs some fish. Okay, we can send her fish. Okay, so like, I'd be using this on something else. Usually, yeah. Today, can't do it. Well, that's disappointing. It's disappointing. Stay tuned, folks, for me to use the rest of the because uh, we like to use everything here, don't we? Are you gonna pick that fennel out of the garbage? Uh, no, no, I'm gonna pick the fennel out of the garbage. Okay, just like that. This. Well, you know what? I don't even know what I'm doing. And this is seeming to turn out to be something sexy, I think. I can hear the butter sizzling. Butter sizzling. In she goes. Let that cook. A little tossy tossy. Did you lose an apple? Nope. No loosey. No loosey loosey. No Lucy. apple apple. Loosey. Little garlic in there, Torn? Ooh, can't go wrong with some garlic. That you chopped, eh? Chopped fresh. Choppy choppy. Fresh town garlic. Oh man, this is beautiful. And a little bit of pepper maybe, eh? Yeah. Grace, Grace told me to come home. Chris? Grace. Grace. Grace, sorry, he's mine. Thanks Innovation Center for that. <laughs> nice. How nice is that, eh? It smells nice. Beautiful. Okay, so we're going to let that go down like that. Once we get it down to a nice little uh, caramelization, Ooh. away we go, right? I think we might add a little bit of Mm. Is this local? That is local. Where's this from? That's uh, from Thunder Bay, Wildly Canadian. They also make wild rice and some honeys and some Okay, other Wildly things. Canadian. We're gonna give a shout out to you. I just saw this here, so let's throw it in with that, eh? It's Les Tabachuk. Okay, so look, we haven't even used it yet, but it's who? Les Tabachuk. Hey Les Tabachuk. If you have any more maple syrup and you're willing to send it down for free. For wild rice or okay. honey or whatever else you've got going on. Yes. That smells good for Okay, let's add a little bit of maple syrup in there. Yeah. Another uh, another secret weapon right here. Well, it smells good over here. What'd you throw in there? Oh, that's a secret. Rice vinegar from Binner Marketing. Murray, shout out to Murray Binner. Part of the team now, isn't he? Yeah. Murray Binster. Okay, beautiful. Isn't that beauty? Jeez. All looks good. Okay, so we're gonna take the perch now. Is it time for the three-way? It's time for the three-way. Actually, so folks, this is what I did. I took our Cajun crumbs, which you can get at Kuwait and Place, which you can get at Clover Belt, which you can get at Maltese because they carry so much of it. Because <laughs> North Country meats. North Country meats and where else? Country good meats. Country good meats. Bogdillas. Bogdillas. Actually, we have to send some to Bogdillas. Hey, Brett or whatever. What's his name? Jeff. 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 If you're watching, keep uh, taking videos and uh, pictures of the hot tub. It's really entertaining. <laughs> Anywho, so uh, 
Just mix that up together into your local coffee chopper, right? And like this. Torn, you're just eating this straight up, right? I was. I, I do enjoy a nice almond. Nice almond, snack. Cajun almond? I do. Pretty tasty. Beauty. Okay, in she goes. Now we mixy, mixy, grindy, grindy. That's it, folks. How long was that? 15 seconds? You really gave that one a tug, though. Yeah, I know. Look at that. That's coming down nice. In we go. So that's how you want it, Torn. Nice and coarse. Nice and coarse, like oh, that. It smells good over here. It smells good, eh? Okay. So we have this nice, beautiful perch. Uh, let's just talk about perch for a second because we have a couple minutes, okay? Actually, let's check on the beets. Oh, okay. How do you know when beets are ready? Oh, they're getting there, buddy. Look at that. That is beautiful. Uh, okay, folks, I suggest you don't grab that by the, your hand unless you're a chef. How's your hand? My hand is not hot. Anyways, those are looking very sexy, aren't they? They're almost cooked already. The sugars are coming together. The salt, pepper, everything's... Hey, didn't I put this on a pizza pan? Ooh. TV magic. TV magic. Okay, that's in there. It's very sturdy. Okay, we're going on the three-way back to the perch. Look how beautiful this is. These are beautiful perch, aren't they? Joe and Jody do a phenomenal job on cleaning perch. Like... If I was Taraz, Taraz, I know you're watching because I just talked to you. I think you should talk to your chef and you should get some local perch on the menu. This will be beautiful. What about those fish balls, Torn? You think they'd oh, do great on the... I'm, I'm so upset you didn't make me anything. What about the sliders? The wild... Nope, we can't say that name because somebody in Thunder Bay will steal it. You'll see us at Top Chef Thunder Bay and we'll give you that name. What about the pike sliders? Pike sliders. Absolutely. Taraz, I have so many ideas for you, my friend. Okay, we're going over the three-way here, Torn. We're going into some uh, flour. We still need to figure this out, don't we? Yeah. Better way to do the three-way? Better way to do the three-way so yeah, my it's back is a little awkward. My back is... No, you know what they say, three-ways can be a little awkward. <laughs> it can be. Look at how amazing that sticks to that. Isn't that beautiful? I'm excited. Beauty. I like the tappy tappy on there. Tappy tappy, eh? Did I ever tell you where I got that from? I, I don't even know what the tappy tappy is. Uh, well, when I was in, um, when I was in the tur uh, Turks and Caicos, no, let's not talk about that. Uh, <laughs> when I was in uh, the Dominican, right? Yeah. The guys that used to. The, what? The guys that used to do, like, you know, they do the singing and everything. Oh, like yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a guy, hee 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 hee, tappy tappy. Anyways, it stuck with me, right? I don't know. That wasn't actually a great story, I'm not going to lie to you. No? You don't yeah. like that story, eh? yeah, it, it just didn't really have a good middle. Look end. how beautiful that looks. The perch looks good, though. How does this smell? It smells delicious. So you, you can eat this because it's cooked, right? Yes. Oh. Once it's cooked, I can eat it. Yeah. Uh, weird. That's weird. So, uh, exciting next week. We're going to be using products from the Clover Belt. Um, what did I get from the Clover Belt, anyway? Uh, some mushrooms. I got some mushrooms. Some butter. Some butter. We got Hunter's Ridge butter. We got some maple. Hey, Mike Redman, how you doing? It's been a while. We should talk soon. This is amazing, Torn, how the almonds and everything is sticking to it like that. Okay, let's start there. Now, folks, all you do... Okay, all you do, Torn, into the deep fryer. Just that simple? It's that simple. We're going to put two in there. Bubbly, bubbly. How simple is that, folks? Almond, Cajun, crusted. You know what we need to do here? We need to do a little, uh, <coughs> think a little shout serious. out to our buddy Loon Vodka. Right, a little, uh, how about we do a little deglaze here? You know what deglaze, deglaze means? Uh, yeah, I learned it in chef school. Online chef school. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, we're going to use this beautiful, my favorite one, eh? The sexy plate. Sexy plate. 
This is gonna go right over here. That is not good, eh, Pops? So you're gonna serve it on a bed of chutney? No, no. I'm not good. We have to get the wok going. Oh. Walk it up. Walk it, walk it, walk it. Look how beautiful these are looking in here. Mm, it smells good that. that syrup. Okay, so. Jason from Big Barbecue Blue Haze is watching. Jason, my boy, we used your, uh, we used your spicy, spicy. In that goes corn, that's cooked. How do you know when it's cooked? Uh, it's uh, fluorescent. Oh, God. Look at that. Boom, that's done. We're gonna turn that off. Take that off the heat. Fish is done. Now we're gonna toss in our beet greens. I forgot all about those. So you just take a few like this, yeah? Take some of that Swiss chard. Carmela's finest Swiss chard. Carmela's finest Swiss chard. Oh, this is this is beautiful actually. Nice color, eh? Very nice. Very folly, eh? The Swiss chard fall. Well, it's fall right now, isn't it? Yeah. Technically, it's fall. So you could actually use all of that if you want. No, you don't want to use it. What a waste today. Look how beautiful this is. Eh? This is going in with this. So the thing with Swiss chard and beets. It doesn't take long to cook them. With, I mean, the Swiss chard in there. It's just a quick little flash. So less and pea. Less and pea. Absolutely. We have Swiss chard, local, local beets, and the beet greens. That's all I like to do, Torn. Just a quick little flash. Nothing more than that. It stays all gone today. In the bowl. You know what would be good in here right now? Pears. If we had local pears. You know, I feel like there aren't local pears in Toronto. Nope. It's not good pear growing climate. Oh my god, look at this that fish. That is a nice piece look of Look at this fish. Look at that fish. Then we have our fennel compote. And now it's a compote. Grace wants to see a pasta dish. Next week, maybe. And we're going to use some of the Fifth Avenue Farms' sexiest greens. Aren't they sexy, Torn? They are nice microgreens. There we have it, folks. We have a local Swiss char beet, beet greens, glazed, flash on the fry pan. We got a Cajun almond crusted perch, local. We got a local crab apple and fennel compote relish, whatever you want to call it, finished off with the local microgreens from Fifth Avenue Farms. What do you think something like this would go for? That's a thirty dollar meal right there. That's you know what? That would be a beautiful lunch special, wouldn't it? Beautiful. You got a little bit of a nice hot salad at the bottom. You got there. You got the piece. Beautiful, folks. I thought about this in how much time? I had no time. I went to Winnipeg today. I came back, and this is what we came up with. Next week, what are we going to next week? I, I don't know. You next week, I think we go to... Is it black crappie? Sucker. Oh. We're going to go to mullet. Four weeks in a row of mullet, white sucker, whatever you want to call it. For whatever reason, people are not using white sucker. 
It's underutilized, undervalued, unappreciated fish. Here at Freshwater Cuisine, Chef Jay and Torin are going to bring sucker to the forefront, aren't we? Four weeks of sucker. Four weeks of sucker, folks. Stay tuned. Bye-bye.